Hi, so I'm really excited to talk about this topic here. Um, I didn't think that this is gonna be like the most anticipated topic or the one that a lot of people were so excited for, but we're here to talk about dental wellness. Dental wellness. Um, who likes the dentist? Raise your hand. Uh, my partner, Jay, he loves the dentist. He's like a sicko. But most people I know do not like the dentist because they feel like it's always like bad news when you go, right? Um, but it doesn't have to be. So first off, I want to start by saying that I am not a dentist, if you didn't know. <laughs> I'm not a dentist. Um, I'm not claiming to be a dentist. However, what I am is, and I'm also not saying don't go to the dentist because we should find a dentist that we're safe and comfortable with um, and get our teeth clean and all that stuff. Um, but what I am saying to you is I have found a lot of success in my own dental journey by doing a few simple things at home. I get a lot of questions and DMs about this all the time because I just kind of stumbled across um, at first, for me, the idea that I was healing all of my um, like dental issues, my cavities, um, like gum recession, like I just happened to be healing them. And I kind of didn't understand why at first until I brought it up to my uh, traditional Chinese medicine practitioner. And then I also found accounts on Instagram of people doing the same thing. And the more I dug into it, I'm like, it's really a thing that we can impact. And I don't know why, duh, why I didn't think about this before, but of course our mouth is attached to our body. We know that, but our body is also attached to our mouth. That's what the dentist doesn't like to tell you. Your body, what you do, what you eat, what you consume, what you brush with, that's, that's all attached. So it goes both ways, right? For me, the journey just just kind of started and I was like okay and little things were happening at a time and then um so I had gone to the dentist six years back I think six years five six years back and they were like you have super gum recession um you have like what they say something crazy like 15 cavities something crazy like 15 cavities and of course I was so shell-shocked and scared and I'm like also how am I gonna pay for that at the time um I just didn't know how to go about this so like most humans well some humans I avoided I avoided and I was like forget it and I didn't do anything to impact my dental wellness at home I was just avoiding okay not the best but a lesson learned um and then Go back two years, I started just working with a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner and I was like, I need some type of oral routine. And she's like, what do you mean? And I simply put, I was like, I don't have a good oral routine or a wellness routine. Um, you know, I don't, I was probably using crappy toothpaste. Um, I wasn't really worried too much about what I was doing for oral wellness. I knew that I was starting on a wellness journey with her. Uh, but I didn't know how that would impact uh, my oral wellness. Um, so simultaneously, I was going on a body wellness journey, okay? And I also was like, can you help me start um, a oral wellness routine? And she's like, oh, sure, let me help you. So quite simply, you know, brushing twice a day, who would have thunk it, uh, flossing, getting a good floss, and oil pulling were her recommendations for me and a lot of people are like oil pulling what's that or you've heard about it but you don't know uh, the benefits of it so I'm going to drop the benefits here of oil pulling and I'm going to show you how so oil pulling is something so super simple and cheap that you can do at home every single day every single day um again I have already put literature and how to do it right here in this feed in this feed <laughs> um but I did that I oil pulled I brushed twice a day and I flossed and on top of that, I was watching what I consumed as far as clean ingredients, um, as far as making sure that I was eating really nutrient dense food. I was following her um, guide on how to eat clean and heal like my hormones, but I didn't realize that simultaneously I was healing my mouth. So cool. And I'll tell you how I found that out. Um, but it's, it, it, it can be very simple. Like these small changes are going to lead to really big results. So I will also drop a list and some things you can do right at home with like nutrient dense food and different things that will impact your oral wellness as well. When I started doing this simple dental routine that she gave me, I said to myself, I'm going to give myself like six to eight months to get on this, like an oral wellness routine. And then I'm going to face my fears and make a um, appointment at the dentist 
so that I could kind of get a baseline of what's really going on. So when I started this oral wellness routine, this tooth right here, this gum line, come in here. This gum line was way up here, super exposed, like ugly exposed. Like when I would smile, I don't smile like that, but when I would smile, it was like oh, up, up there. And I had, remember I'd listened to a podcast about holistic dental wellness like a year ago and they had said something to the effect of like your gums are like turtlenecks they want to be around your teeth they want to be around your teeth but you have to give them the environment to do that they also said that um, gums want to regenerate so if you give them the space to regenerate they will so a lot of times when we go to the dentist or um, the periodontist they will, or oral surgeon, they'll be like, you have so much gum recession, gum graft. And I'm not, again, saying that I am a dental professional, but I do know my own results. And I'm not also saying that some sometimes we do need the support of these professionals, but there are things that we can do at home that help our gums to fill back in and be less receded. And I found with this tooth that the gum line was way up here, this is really cute we're getting real, uh, that was way up here, all of a sudden, like a couple months into my oral wellness routine and I had been doing the, the clean eating and the hormone healing, and I noticed that this was starting to come down and I freaked out. I called my mama, anyone who would listen. I took a picture, I went over to her house and I was like, remember this this tooth that the gum was way up here? Look at it now, look at it now. And she's like, wow, that is really noticeably different. And my teeth were like noticeably whiter. Um, I will tell you when I started flossing consistently, like I used to not, let's back up, I used to not be able to brush my teeth without them bleeding, bad bad even just with a regular toothbrush then if you added in a sonic one bad then eventually after oil pulling and eating the new nutritious stuff that started to subside as i was brushing and doing everything regularly but i was still getting bleeding when i was doing um my what the heck, dental floss um i was still getting a lot of bleeding there but my mom and, and everyone was like just keep going just keep going it will get better and it did it did i was so shocked so with all these positive things kind of just hinting at me and showing me that they were changing and simply being better, I felt more confident to make my first appointment at a dentist. And I ended up going to an anxiety dentistry, more of a holistic dentist here in Syracuse. Um, they have them other places where they just don't use fluoride. Um, they they take out metal um fillings, you know, they focus more on that stuff. And so I went and I did the first initial like total appointment, you know, where the dentist comes in and he's like doing my jaw, doing all the things. And he, they were picking at it and I was like, oh God. And he goes, how many cavities did you say that the dentist uh, six years ago said that you had? And I said, I don't know, like 13, 14, 15. He goes, I see one and a half, one and a half cavities. And I was like, what? I literally was like, come again, sir. I thought there was, I thought there, he was joking me. He goes, one and a half, maybe two, like I want in between my teeth. Um, and I was just blown away. And I remember I ran out to the waiting room, my mom was there and I'm like, I apparently only have like two cavities as opposed to like 15 cavities. And she's like, what? And I was like, yeah. And I ran home and I texted my TCM, my practitioner. And I was like, holy shit. And she's like, yeah, like your body is meant to heal. And I was like, okay, but how? What is this voodoo? What is this witchcraft? Just from brushing? No. Um, and so the more I looked into it, the more I found all these people on Instagram who are like, you can heal your cavities at home. Cavities are not... Um, a dental requirement necessarily. Like you don't wanna have an infection, of course, but you can reverse cavities. So I studied and I studied and I looked up and I'm like, well, what did I do? Cause I clearly did it. And I saw what I'm gonna post here if I haven't already, um, you know, 
what foods to eat and how to be and what to do. It's not even really about, I mean, sugar is like a thing, but it's not necessarily about cutting out sugar, sugar on your teeth. There's so much more to it, but kind of simplistic that a lot of people don't realize because we are made to believe that dentists have to fill cavities. But if you're getting cavities in the first place, there me that means that there's an imbalance. Nothing to be like ashamed or scared about. It just means that there's something that you need to be consuming or not consuming or doing or not doing to play with it and figure it out. And I will give you all the resources that I know. And on top of that, I then found the miracle toothpaste that I'm going to tell you about. So please understand, you know, I, I still have gone to the dentist and I'm going and I'm so scared and I go and I'm having my quadrants deep cleaned because I do have a little bit, I was having some inflammation and a little bacteria, of course, around my gum line. So I'm working really hard to see if I can heal that and make a really big impact outside of the dentist's office with that. But something cool that uh, the dentist that I go to said to me was they want to teach us how and what to do to impact dental wellness at home. So it's not like a, I need to come here every six months and have the dentist only taking care of me because a lot of times that's what we do. We leave it in the hands of a practitioner and we go and we go to them religiously and we think that they are the answer, they have the answer. And not that anything's wrong with going to see your practitioner, of course not. Um, I hope you have one that you love and trust and can talk with, but what we need to do is impact our life on a daily.